Are you nervous about taking public transportation in Panama? Are you tired of your rideshare costs from Uber? Did you know that you can take a bus for 25 cents? And I've seen people get on the bus. And they know they ain't got no money in their cards. As someone with cerebral palsy, I was a bit nervous myself, but I took the leap. In this video, we'll take you along a tour I took that teaches participants the ins and outs of public transportation in Panama City, Panama, to take away any fears that you might have or just to show you the ropes. We will cover the different cards that are used, prices, transfers, how to load your Metro cards at Albrook, what apps you should download, show you what it's like to ride both the Metro train and the bus, and briefly discuss taking both if you have a mobility constraint. Oh my gosh, this tried to kill me. More on this later. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to be locked up abroad doing this? Can you scan other people in with this? You can one? scan other people in this with this one as well. Three additional people you can scan in with this one as well. Hello. My name is Aisha and I navigate life with cerebral palsy. I'm bringing pieces of Panama to your screen until you can experience it for yourself. Now, let's get started. The tour started at 9 a.m. at the designated meeting point. We were asked to download this app before arriving and I'll show you why further along in this video. At the time of this recording, this adventurous spirit sent from heaven, aka Barbara, does these tours for free just to help those who want to learn how to navigate public transportation here in Panama City. Let's take a listen to her explanations. Hopefully everybody got at least two, two dollars, okay? Yeah. Because it don't give change. Or if you have to use the restroom in Albrook train station, it's a quarter. This will get you through the restroom. This is the one that generally now comes out of the machine when you go to buy your car. So I'm going to show y'all how to catch the buses if y'all want to leave Panama City. And those are like the Greyhound buses or the, or the vans. But this one, even though online it says it's for the um, Uber Lotto for the buses, the buses are still 25 cents on this one. But the trains, instead of being 35 cents, they're only 24 cents. So this card is $4, but of course it's personalized. This one is also just for the buses and the trains. So it's helpful to have both. Somebody on that bus will always help the next person. They will get up and then they will scan somebody on it. Once she explained the basics, we headed over to catch a metro bus to Albrook Station to get metro cards and then ride the train. If you notice here, one of the tour participants is flagging down the bus. That's because the previous one had made a stop down the street before the bus stop and just drove right on by us. The bus was relatively clean, the seats were a bit slippery when stopping or going around turns, so hold on. Okay, so not all bus drivers pull right up to the curb. That day, I didn't notice if the bus lowers down to assist people who need a bit of help in order to step up. Let me know in the comments below if they do this here. They do, however, have spaces in the middle of the bus for wheelchairs or strollers. Upon exiting, and if you're making a quick stop and will be returning to the bus in 45 minutes, you need to scan your card as you're leaving the bus. If this is what you would scan if you was going to get back on the bus in 40 minutes. Okay. If you're not getting back on the bus right away, you do not need to scan your card. Just exit accordingly. Once you get off the bus at Albrook, you're going to walk into the station and look for these consoles to purchase your Metro card or to add more money onto the one that you already have. For some reason, the consoles didn't accept coins that day, so make sure to have small bills since the machines don't give back any change like Barbara said at the start of the tour. Wait, wait, wait. Remember that app I showed you in the beginning of this video? Well, you can check how much money you have on the card as well as link it to your bank account to add more money as needed. To link your bank account, just open the banking app, select recharge, enter in your Metro card number found on the front of your card, and then add the amount that you want. Make sure not to enter someone else's Metro card number by mistake like I did. They got a free $5 recharge from me. Teehee! Okay. Now that we have our Metro cards, let's explore the station and take the Metro. The Albrook station has buses that will go to different parts of Panama like Colón, David, El Valle, as well as to other countries like Costa Rica. I took one to Colón in 2004. The metro station has maps and station stops, and once on the train, you'll hear announcements of upcoming stops. The metro does have elevators and doorways for those with wheelchairs or need special assistance. 
Remember when she said you can pay for up to three people at a time? Well, this is an example of three people using one card. Wait, are we about to be locked up abroad? Taking the metro here was like taking any metro system in the United States, but depending on the city you're from, much cleaner. I'm from New York City, so you already know what I was expecting. Overall, the public metro system was easy to navigate, and once the tour was completed, we all got off at our respective stops on the way back like we graduated from the class. Woohoo! We made it. Well, almost. Now, once you leave the metro station, please watch your step and look where you're going. My heel went into this evil hole in the sidewalk that I didn't notice. I'm glad I didn't fall. As we walked home from the metro station, we passed this manhole with the missing cover that was moonlighting as a trash can. Imagine this being at night and you weren't paying attention. Pardon the interruption. Unlock a world of exclusive content by becoming an Abroad Ability channel member. We are bringing you behind the scenes of life abroad with unscripted content that doesn't make it into the regular videos. Watch intimate glimpses into my daily life as an expat with cerebral palsy, including doctor's visits, ATM and bank runs, shopping, markets, holidays, and more. All recorded just for you. Welcome to the Abroad Ability membership family and thanks to those who have already joined. See you soon behind the scenes of my life as an expat. I hope you found this video to be helpful and that some of your questions and concerns about public transportation in Panama City have been answered. If you enjoyed this type of content, consider subscribing, becoming a channel member, or watch this next. See you in the next one.